when you're watching your favorite fight or you're listening to your favorite coach talk about the mindset or the mental sometimes the word emotion comes up and we talk about emotional content or emotional context and what most people think about is something as extreme as being angry and you will hear emotional verbiage being used all throughout training sessions even in the fight you know Teddy Atlas was notorious for saying to fighters that they've had a verbal agreement to not fight you know this just talked about the emotion that the guys were taking rounds off or even several rounds off and a lot of times when we talk about the mental side or the intangible things of fighting it gets a little confusing because we're always thinking about psychology we're always thinking about well this person's having a bad day emotional context or content in terms of fighting is having that ability to turn it on and to turn it off and it is dictated by the range for instance when you're at long range kick range where nothing is happening you want to be a bit more relaxed smooth cool these are just words to help define what it is that we're trying to achieve but a lot of times they don't do justice because people tend to just take it as a simple expression and they just tend to ride that one out for generations and generations uh, in long range you have to think about long range offense long range defense counter offense all of these different mechanisms and uh, situations bring up about different forms of expression so your emotional content will change according to your intent so you can't just say well long range and you're always going to be relaxed you know um, if you're under attack the last thing you want to do is be relaxed maybe you want to move with a sense of urgency this doesn't mean that you're moving as fast as you can but it does mean that you want to be able to perceive the movement and take the proper steps to not be hit move cover counter 